Welcome to today's video. I'll start out by giving you the resolution from the last video homework. Then I will work with colliders, I'll teach you how they work. And then I'll give you the homework for the next video. So let's go. Okay, let's start with the resolution of the homework. It's quite simple, you just need to create a couple of variables and add uh, two lines of code. So let's start by creating the variables. Create a minimum and a maximum. You can either write like this or you can do this. It's the same thing and it saves you a line of code. Uh, I think it's more simple this way. And do the same for the Z axis. And these variables can now be private. We don't need to access them on the inspector now. And on the start, we generate the random numbers. We can copy from down here. Span range X equals random range the minimum and the maximum and you just do the same for the z if you now save it and go to unity you can now choose the range Let's say 8, 16, and 10, 15. If you now press play, it generates random numbers. So if you start again, every time you start, the area is different. So that was the homework, it, it was quite simple. Again, you just create these variables and these two lines of code. Now let's go into the to this tutorial. We'll be talking about colliders. So let's get started. Let's select the cube and create a new script. Player collision. Create it. And now open it. Here we can delete the start and the update functions. We'll be using this function void on collision enter. So let's write that. And you write here if collision dot transform dot tag equals sphere don't forget to put the destroy this dot game object. Now go back to Unity. Go to Prefabs, select the sphere. Here on the inspector, go to Layer, I mean Tag, sorry, and add a tag. Create a new tag here, name it Sphere, and save it. Click again the Rain Sphere, and select a new tag. Let's create another one for the capsule. A tag. And assign it in the inspector. 
go back to the script and write else oops else if collision tag capsule we destroy the capsule Let's try it out. If you now press play, if you go against a capsule, it disappears. It's like collecting a coin. And if a sphere touches us, we disappear, we die. So this is how collisions work. This function checks every time there's a collision and the collision object that collides with this object is named collision. If the collision has the tag named sphere, it destroys this object. If the collision has the tag capsule, it destroys the capsule. It's quite simple and easy to understand, I believe. So today was a quick video. And for the homework, I want you to create a script that makes the spheres, when they coll collide with a capsule, wait a second, so the spheres that fall down, if they touch a capsule, the capsule gets destroyed. So if the sphere here touches this, the capsule disappears. The principle is the same. You just need to create it, a script for the sphere. On the next video, we'll talk about how to start creating a HUD for, for a game that shows the score and the time we are alive. So try to do the homework and I'll see you on the next video.